Okay, now that I'm done with the gathering stitch, cut the thread, and then I will insert. Oh, I'm having problems here. Okay, there. I will insert, and this will be a little dress. So I will insert it and gather it. See this? Can you see it? So that's how it, it will look. But before I do that, I need glue. So I will go ahead and apply some glue around her chest. Don't worry if it looks messy because she will have, you're not going to see this. She's going to, I'm putting lace there, so. I just want to make sure that the skirt, the dress stays on. And then wait till it gets a bit tacky. Then, there, and I just hold it a bit. And there she goes. Try to lift it up, but think a bit more of the skirt. Okay, like that. And there it goes. Then what I will do is turn her over, and I will tie a knot. Nope, her dress is a bit twisted. I'm so sorry if my hands are in the way, but this is so tiny. And before I tie it, I like to just put a little bit of glue there, just to make sure it holds. And there, there she goes. And then I wait for it to dry. And once it's dry, okay. And there she goes with her dress. Oops, I put some glue in her arms. Okay, and there she goes. Now we'll create the bodice. So I'm using the lace that I showed you previously. And again, if you're interested, it's on my website. I'm adding glue here in the front, her chest, and then a little bit of glue back here. We don't need that much. And I will go ahead and I will take the lace and I will put it here and then move it across the back like that. Don't worry, it's, it's long, but um, I will go ahead and trim it. And now we'll do this side. Again, glue in the back, and this time, I will put a little bit of glue right here, on top of that lace, and we'll do this again. And when we're done, you'll see how we've created the bodice. Very simple and easy. Okay, there. And now, you see how it needs to be trimmed. If you notice, the lace there needs to be trimmed. It's a little rough looking, so I will go ahead and trim it. And then the back, which is way too long, I will go ahead and trim. Okay, oops. Okay, so there, I trimmed it, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add silk ribbon, and we, I have this on my website also, and let me just cut it first. This is a wonderful ribbon to use with our dolls, and now I'll put some glue here. 
wait, I need to trim the lace a little bit more. There. Okay. Just the glue does not want to come out. I can't believe it already dried out. It's drying this glue. It's this desert climate. Really dries everything fast. Okay, there. A little bit under her arms. Like that. Then I will take the ribbon. Like that. And if you notice, see now it's covering. It's covering the, um, try not to get my hands in the way so that you can see, it's covering the rough edge of the lace. And now I will put the ribbon around. And then we'll go this way. There. I'll pull it a bit. trim it. It's way too big. Long. This ribbon. Okay. And we need more glue. Okay. Okay. Now this glue is drying really quick because um, it's like a hundred degrees in El Paso. So it and it's a desert, no humidity, so everything dries quickly. But if your, if your climate is different, wait for the glue to get a bit tacky because you do not want it to bleed through your silk ribbon. And it will bleed. Okay. And there. There it goes. And there goes your little doll. Now, if you want to embellish her with roses, little roses, or... Whatever you want to do, you can embellish her a bit more.